a mother from East Lyme accused of a horrible crime. Police say she choked and smothered her own baby. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan was in court today for the arraignment. He's joining us live right now with more on the disturbing details of the investigation. Kevin. Well, that they are disturbing, Mark. The accused is Katie Nichols, and her public defender told the court today that she has serious mental health issues that are being treated. 36-year-old Katie Nichols became emotional during her arraignment before Judge Shea as the state detailed what investigators claimed she did to her then 16-month-old son. These are court orders that I'm going to read, read to you. Police learned about the alleged abuse from Nichols' own therapist. The arrest warrant obtained by Eyewitness News says the therapist stated that the accused told her that she had slapped the victim on the belly and also shakes, strangles, and smothers him. Also, according to the arrest warrant affidavit, East Lyme police had been here before. As a matter of fact, four times before, starting in October, on complaints of yelling and screaming. She has multiple charges of child abuse. Oh, my goodness. I know the boyfriend was arrested at one point. Neighbors in the Flanders Road apartment complex in East Lyme really didn't know Ms. Nichols or her boyfriend. They're arguing, yes, we've heard them argue before. You know, he was, he, the, the boyfriend or the husband was always outside. At the arraignment was an unidentified woman who claims to be the mother of the boyfriend. She didn't want to talk. Meanwhile, the state told Judge Shea they have a strong case. The judge sharing some history. A history of violence, uh, albeit towards uh, animals. The accused stated to investigator Walsh that she has a history of yelling, hitting, violently shaking and smothering her son in a pillow. I have two. I have a three-year-old and she's four months. So, you know, but yeah, it's kind of scary. Now, Judge Nichols is keeping, uh, Judge Shea is keeping Ms. Nichols bonded a quarter million dollars. And if she does post her bond, the judge says she's going to have a lot of restrictions. Live at the Mobile Newsman, New London, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.